What's going on guys? Today's Friday, October 28th, and we're gonna jump into the charts. We had a very eventful week. GDP for Q3 came out on Thursday, and those numbers came in at 2.6%. So that means the third quarter of 2022, America saw a positive growth in their domestic products. Also, on Monday, I made some predictions on DXY, the dollar index, and the Bitcoin, and all of those predictions played out like clockwork. So we're gonna jump into it, and before we continue, if you would like to assist me on my mission, I would really appreciate it if you take two seconds out of your time and hit that like button. It would help me with the algorithm so this video can be shown to more people, so more people can benefit from this video. So let's dive into it, guys. So this is a continuation of the technical analysis video I posted on Monday. Over the past few weeks, we've been monitoring this one, two, three top pattern playing out on the dollar index. And on Monday, price was hugging this trend line. I said, if we break the trend line, then that would be sign of confirmation that we're actually gonna break down lower on the dollar. And like clockwork, the dollar broke support on Tuesday morning and broke down. So we definitely are playing out this one, two, three top reversal pattern. For the past few weeks, I've been mentioning the fact that the dollar and the cryptocurrency market and the stock market is negatively correlated. So by the dollar breaking down, that triggered a breakout in Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency market. That's right, we had a bullish breakout of the descendant triangle. So this is a signal that the market is picking up some bullish momentum and price is getting ready to move. So where is the Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market heading? I'm glad you asked that. According to the textbook, the target for the descending triangle is the length of the mouth of the triangle. So we're going to measure the mouth and then move that over and then that's going to be the target. And that comes in at around $33,000. The market are fractal, so that means there are patterns happening within patterns. We're in nature, the market is just human behavior, which means it's completely predictable. It's patterns happening within patterns, and once you can spot these patterns, the next move is, becomes predictable. With that being said, within the descending triangle, I spot another bullish pattern playing out, and I'm looking at a possible double bottom. The target for the double bottom also comes in at $33,000, so that's another area of confluence that's pointing that the market is looking to head back up towards $33,000 per Bitcoin. We would need price to get to the neckline of the double bottom, which is around $24,000. The double bottom on a weekly chart at the bottom of a market is a very strong bullish reversal signal. So that's a strong signal that the market is definitely getting ready to move up higher. Bitcoin is currently 237% away from its previous all-time high. So that's a decent return just by price returning to its previous all-time high. But that's not financial advice. And as you guys know, the altcoin market has a lot more room to grow than Bitcoin. And there's a lot of great altcoins that's below a dollar. So now is the time to be greedy. As you can see on the bottom right of this chart, this is not going to happen overnight. This can take a couple weeks to even a couple months, which means it's going to go into early 2023. Guys, these markets are not a casino, so there's a way to go about investing in the cryptocurrency and stock market. If you would like to learn more, click the link in my bio. I created a course where I teach you exactly how to read these markets and to go about investing in them. I've been involved in the cryptocurrency market since 2017 and in those five years I've learned a tremendous amount of lessons and you don't have to make the same mistakes that I've made. And by making a small investment into yourself, by educating yourself properly, you're going to see tremendous returns. It's a very simple formula and with a couple hours of education, anyone can be successful in these markets. So click the link in my bio and let's get started. So let's hop back into it. In the Chauti Masterminds group, we've been monitoring this fallen wedge on a weekly time frame. The fallen wedge is a bullish pattern and we had one candle break outside of it. This fallen wedge pattern has been acting as support and resistance and it goes all the way back to 2020. So it's a really established pattern in the Bitcoin market. So let's drop down to the daily time frame and zoom in and take a closer look of what's happening. A retest of this upper trend line is nothing out of the ordinary uh, that happens all the time, according to the textbook. 
but we just cannot come back inside of the fallen wedge and close inside. Failing to remain outside of the fallen wedge, if price were to come back inside, then that will be considered a false breakout. And then that will be a signal that we're definitely going lower and that will be very bad for price action. So to confirm the breakout, we need this weekly candle to close outside of the falling wedge and it closes in two days. So on Sunday night, we'll know if this breakout is confirmed or not. Guys, if you have any questions about these markets or if you're considering taking a course or even have questions about the course, feel free to send me a DM. I'm here. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. I'll update you guys on Monday. There's opportunities everywhere. Keep your eyes open for them. Take care.